Alright, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I will show you how to solve all of the last layered cases on the Pyraminx. Alright, at any point in the video, if I'm going too fast or you want to screenshot the algorithm, just go ahead and pause the video. Okay, starting in the first case, it looks like this. So, all these are kind of like headlights all the way around. And if you notice, this blue is on the right side of this, like the actual blue side. Okay, so the algorithm would go like this. Okay, so how I finger trick it is I grip this corner with these three fingers so I can just do like, these kind of moves. And then all I need is my left index finger to flick it like this. So, like this. Okay, and I'll show it fast. Okay, the next case is really similar to the other one, except it's the reverse. So, like, the red are on the right, and the red headlights are in the front. So it looks like that. And it's just, this. it's the same like R moves except you do U moves instead of U prime. So it'll go like this. Okay, and then how I finger trick it is I use my thumb instead of my index to do the U moves which can catch a little bit, but I just turn it slower. So it goes like this. Okay, and then this case, perform fast. Okay, this case, this is actually my favorite case for the Pyraminx. So it's, you, you have one edge solved, and then this one is flipped, and then this one is flipped. And so how you finger trick it is like this. So you go left down, right down, left up, right up. And then you do kind of a rotation to this side and then grab this top corner, go left up, right up, left down, right down. And that'll solve it. So How I finger trick it is, I just do this, rotate it, and then just, like, as soon as I rotate it, I move this up, and then just do the rest of the algorithm. And then perform fast. Okay, these next two cases are definitely the hardest last layer cases, because they're really hard to identify at first. Okay, so, the way I identify them is... You have the three edges, and what I look for is one that doesn't have any matching colors. So like this one has the matching blue, this one has the matching yellow, and this one is just by itself. So I put this one in the back, and then I look for whichever one is in front, so it's the one on the left. So I would do this algorithm. kind of a rotation okay so another trick you can do is if you have the random edge in the back if you have the left one that's matching you would you would know you start with the right okay and then perform fast okay and then the last case is this one so it's just like it's the mirror of the last one so you have the random edge in the back and this the matching one is on the right so it looks like this so and then so since the matching ones on the right you would start turning with the left side so like this rotate Ok, 
okay, and then perform fast. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment down below. I answer comments all the time. Uh, go ahead and check out my other videos, and maybe subscribe if you want. Alright, I'll see you later.